U.S., France and other allies call for immediate 21-day ceasefire along Israel-Lebanon border. The United States, France and several allies have called for an immediate 21-day ceasefire along the Israel-Lebanon border while also expressing support for a ceasefire in Gaza following intense discussions at the United Nations. A joint statement described the recent fighting as intolerable and said it presents an unacceptable risk of a broader regional escalation. We call on all parties, including the governments of Israel and Lebanon, to endorse the temporary ceasefire immediately consistent with UNSCR 1701 during this period and to give a real chance to a diplomatic settlement, it said referring to the 2006 Security Council resolution that established the demilitarized blue line along the Lebanese border. The statement negotiated on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly in New York was signed by the US, Australia, Canada, the EU, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Qatar. A senior Biden administration official stated that the proposed ceasefire would apply to the blue line the demarcation line between Lebanon and Israel with the intention of allowing parties to negotiate towards a potential diplomatic resolution of the conflict. In response to the escalating crisis, France had earlier called a special Security Council meeting. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has also urged the Council to work in lockstep to end the violence between Israeli forces and Hezbollah militants across the blue line in southern Lebanon. Meanwhile, the Indian embassy in Beirut issued a travel advisory in light of the escalating tensions. Indian nationals are urged to exercise heightened caution and travel to Lebanon is discouraged. The embassy reiterated its previous advisory from August 1, 2024, emphasizing the increasingly unstable situation in Lebanon. The military actions continue to intensify in Lebanon. The Israeli Air Force reported striking 75 Hezbollah targets in Lebanon overnight, including munitions, warehouses, launchers, military infrastructure, and fighters. Israel has also widened its airstrikes in Lebanon. According to Lebanese Health Ministry statements, at least 72 people were killed on Wednesday with at least 223 wounded. The text now appears more consistent and polished.